What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with a back here. Just want to update you guys on the latest regarding NCAA football games, possibly returning sometime in the near future. You guys know that I have been every step of the way. Anytime we get some new information, anytime we get any little tidbits about you know, where things are going in terms of new laws for paying players and, you know, what EA or other companies might be trying to do to bring back NCAA games. I always want to let you guys stay up to date. So this is going to be a very quick video today as there's really not a lot of information to share. Just a little tidbit. If you are new to the channel, however, and you want to be up to date on all of these things, including Madden updates and things like that, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon so that you never miss any of the uploads. So you may remember a few weeks ago, I did a video. I'll have it uh, linked below in the comments and in the descriptions if you haven't seen it yet. Basically talking about a new bill that the California governor was able to pass. Uh, basically allowing college athletes to be compensated for their name, image, and likeness. Um, you know, starting in the near future. Now, this doesn't mean that universities themselves would actually be paying players as if like, you know, under a salary. But meaning that, you know... When you play college football, like you can't make any money off of your name, image, and likeness as it stands right now with the NCAA, or you will you wouldn't be eligible to play. So like you can't you know sign memorabilia for money. You know you couldn't you know get paid from a video game company to have your image put in a video game. You can't have like endorsements and things of that nature. You know until you get to the NFL, then you can you know you get paid to be in the NFL, but you also could have all these endorsement deals with different companies and get paid for all these different things. Well. The governor put this bill into act last month saying, you know, starting in the next few years, California schools, if, if you're attending a California school and you are a collegiate athlete, you will be able to get paid for your name, image, and likeness. And the idea here is that there's a lot of other states that are already jumping on this as well and trying to put something similar into play, which could then pretty much force the NCAA to kind of, if there's so many schools or so many states that are putting these laws forward, it's going to be in the NCAA's best interest It's just to kind of change their own rule set uh, because they can't just have the rules as they are now if you have like half the states or close to half the states passing a similar bill because then all of the colleges in those states wouldn't be eligible for bowl games and things like that and that would just cause a big mess. So if enough push happens with this bill in other states, which it looks like it has a chance to happen, the NCAA is going to have to kind of adjust some things because it, it just would be a big mess for them. So with all of this coming to light recently, uh, the CEO of EA, Andrew Wilson, um, came out and made a statement at the WSJ uh, Tech Live conference recently, and he basically said, you know, if the NCAA determines how to compensate players for use of their digital likeness in such video games, he said, quote, we would jump for the opportunity to get back into the college game business. Um, he said, you know, previously they've made, you know, the basketball games, which the basketball games stopped a lot earlier than the football games, so not really sure if the basketball games would come back. But the football games would absolutely come back because they did very well. And, um, you know, he's saying, I think there are many, many, maybe even millions of, of players who hope that we can get this game back. And, you know, if we have the chance, we're going to jump at it. So it is good to at least hear that because, you know, let's say that the NCAA changes their rules, which, I mean, we're headed in that direction in some capacity because it's just been such a big thing for a long time now. There's going to be adjustments made at some point in the near future and, you know, just because that happens, that didn't necessarily mean that any company would want to jump back in and make a game because it's very expensive. Uh, and, and from being off the shelf for so long, you know, is the interest still there? Would it like they have to weigh like how much is the interest there in terms of the money they got to invest and what they can make back on it? Because if you remember, you know, like 2K, for example, they stopped making their NCAA games long before EA was forced to stop making theirs due to the lawsuits of former players because 2K at the time didn't find it profitable enough. And it's kind of the same thing with NFL games. Even if another company were to make an NFL game, the audience isn't quite big enough to really sustain two games. It's why you see a lot of sports games now. You know, 2K stopped making NHL games and MLB games and things like that. They didn't have to at the time, but they did because there's just it's hard for multiple sports games to kind of compete nowadays because the licensings are so expensive and things like that. And the audience has kind of gotten smaller for a lot of these things in terms of how many people are actually buying these games every single year. A lot of people only buy them every few years. So, you know, 
So we didn't know if a company would want to get back in, but to hear EA basically say like we would jump at the opportunity, that's good to hear. And, and I'm pretty excited to hear that because they would be the company that would definitely be first at a new NCAA game because they would have probably the least amount of work to do. If 2K wanted to get back into that, they'd have to pretty much start from scratch. You know, EA would maybe be able to kind of pick off pick up somewhere where they left off or you know because they already they, they still make a current football game in Madden they have some things in place like an engine and things like that where it might not be as hard for them to start back up as it would be for another company so if these rules you know do go into effect in the next couple years and NCAA makes some adjustments we, we would definitely be seeing an NCAA football game back if nothing else it would be from EA we don't really know if anybody else would get involved, but it's good to hear that we do have at least one company that'd be willing to do it. Because I think even though Madden's had its issues, we would all welcome back a new NCAA game and hope for the best that it plays well. So that's all for today. Just wanted to keep you guys updated. Like I said, if you want to know more about that bill, link is below in the comments and in the description. Check that out. And as always, I will see you guys next time.